Hi, my name is Linda. I am a yoga instructor here at Old Town Hot Springs, and I have taught and practiced yoga for probably about 30 years. And during that time, there have been many times when I have been unable to get up and down off the floor. So I found that I was able to do almost anything I did on the floor in a chair. And so by adapting my practice to the chair, we were able to find that I could stretch, move, do strengthening postures all at the same time. So as we move through our practice session today, I would like to just work mostly in the upper body for stretch and strength. And yoga is a practice that incorporates stretch, stretching, strengthening, and balancing. So it's what we kind of all look for in our lives as well, to be strong, to be flexible, and to be balanced. So what you'll need today is a chair, and preferably it will be a chair without arms, and not with anything rolling on the bottom. So when you find your chair, you may also find that you need a blanket or a cushion to sit on. And so that cushion will make sure that your knees and your hips are in a straight line. So positioning yourself on a chair, you want to make sure that you're not leaning and slumping into the back of the chair. You want to sit upright and slightly forward on your seat. So that incorporates the front body and the back body to feel strong and long. So once you find your position, just let your shoulders drop down from your ears and take a nice full breath and pull those shoulders up towards your ears to create a little more tension. And then as you're holding your breath for just a moment and then exhaling slowly, let your chest come down towards your lap. Let your arms slide down your legs and pause for a moment, letting your head just hang. And while you're doing this, you're going to feel a back, your back body being stretched, a dome shape of your back body. And then take your one arm out to the side and lift it up towards the ceiling. And then bring it back down as you exhale. And then take your other arm out to the side and lift it up towards the ceiling. And then bring it back down. Bringing your hands to your knees, you're going to push your shoulders up by your ears. Your arms begin to straighten. You take a nice full breath. And then as you exhale, you're going to round your back, drop your chin down towards your chest feeling that dome-like shape again in your back body. Holding on to your knees on a breath, you're going to lift up, pull your shoulders back, open the cage around your heart as your chest expands, and then exhale, round your back again. So you feel that articulation in your spine. You inhale to lift up, pull the shoulders back. Try not to let your head fall back too far to compromise your cervical spine. And then exhale, round your back again. Just letting your body start to get used to movement and breathing. Next time you sit up, you're going to pause and take one hand to the seat of the chair. Your other arm is going to come up and over your head to lean very deeply to that side. On a breath, you bring your arm back and sweep your arm across your lap as you reach to the side. And then sweep your arm all the way back to open behind you. And again, sweep your arm all the way across. But this time you're going to drop your hand down to that knee. You let go of the side of the chair. Your opposite arm comes up and over your head. And then let the palm of your hand come gently to the top of your head as you pull your head through center. Pull your ear down towards your shoulder. Just letting your neck stretch, noticing your breath. Relax your face. And then bring your head back up to center. Bring that arm across your lap. Again, holding on to your knees. Take a big breath to sit up. Exhale to round your back. So you feel the back body really softening. You inhale to sit up. Your hands are going to come off your knees. You bring your arms up. You start to spread your fingers as you pull your hands right down by your shoulders. And pulling your hands back, almost so you cannot see them, will open up across your chest. Arms come out. Drop your other hand to the side of the chair. Opposite arm comes up and over your head. So as you lean and breathe, bringing your arm up, 
and then sweep your arm across your lap, reaching as far as you can through the tips of your fingers. And then sweep your arm as far back behind you as you can. And then again, like you're pushing the air across your lap, you're going to reach. And then sweep your arm all the way back, just feeling that loosening beginning to happen in the upper body. And this time as you bring your arm across, you're going to drop it to your knee. Opposite arm comes up, so you grow long through the side body. You exhale to lean. Drop your hand gently to the top of your head. Relax your face, your forehead, your jaw, as you gently encourage your ear down towards your opposite shoulder. Take a nice full breath here. Let it go. And then bringing your head back to center, you drop your arm across. You take a new breath. You exhale to round your back again, just letting your head drop, your chin to your chest. Inhale to lift your arms up. Separate your hands. Pull your hands back by your shoulders. <coughs> Excuse me. Take a big breath. Bring your hands back to your knees and grab a hold of one of your knees. Pull your knee, oh no, pull your knee up towards your chest and let your knee come forward. And then pull your knee up towards your chest and let your knee come forward. And then taking a hold of that knee with one arm, other arm is out. Pull your knee out to the side. Bring your arm and your knee back to center. Back out to the side. Bring your hand to your ankle. Bring your ankle to your knee. Now, if this doesn't work for your hips, just slide your foot down so ankles are crossed. Take a big breath here, shoulders relax. Take a new breath in, exhale to come forward. Dropping your chin down towards your legs, relax your shoulders. Inhale to bring everything back up. And again, exhale, drop your chest down towards your legs. Inhale to come back up. Take a hold of that leg and take it right out to the side and scoot yourself over on your chair so that the corner of the chair isn't gouging out your inner thigh. Hand comes down your straight leg. Opposite arm comes up and over your head. Inhale to bring everything back. Bend the knee of your straight leg and bring your forearm down to it. That back arm now comes up, comes forward, down towards your foot. Pause here for a moment to let your body get used to this position. And then as if you were pulling your fingers out of the ground, your elbow comes up towards the ceiling. Your hand comes over your shoulder to feel a nice open stretch across your chest. And then push your fingers back down to the ground. And one more time, pull your elbow up, pull your hand over your shoulder, stretching. Take that arm straight, slowly come up through center, bring that hand back behind you. Now that opposite arm is going to come up and over your head. Slowly as you float back through center, take a hold of your leg, bring it back to center. Scoot yourself back to the center of your chair. Take a new breath. Just round your back in the middle for a nice back stretch. Inhale to sit up. Grab a hold of your other knee. And as you're holding on to it, let your shoulders drop down from your ears. Your face starts to soften. Pull your knee up towards your chest. Keep holding on to that knee as your knee comes forward and then pull your knee up towards your chest. So you're hydrating and lubricating that hip joint. Let your knee come forward, pause. Pull your knee up and just hold on to it with your hand. Your opposite arm sweeps out as your knee pulls away from your midline. And then the knee and arm come back to center. So you're working all the way around that hip joint, opening and closing. Bring your hand to your ankle, bring your ankle to your knee, sit up. Now right here you're going to notice maybe this side isn't quite as open as the other. So you may find that you like to slide your leg down so that you can cross at your ankles. If you're okay here, wriggle yourself long, let your shoulders drop down. Exhale to come forward. Just let your chest come down on that cushion of air. 
And then inhale to bring everything back up. And then exhale to come forward. Pausing for a moment, just let your shoulders relax, let your throat soften. Inhale to come up. Take a hold of your leg. Take it off, stretch it out, slide yourself over the chair so you're comfortable. Bring your hand to your leg. Opposite arm reaches up to stretch long. And then exhale, slide over. Relax your jaw, relax your throat. Inhale to come back up. Bend your knee. And take that free arm, bring it back up. And now this time you're going to take it forward, down, over and across towards your big toe. Let your arm relax, let your shoulders relax. And then begin to pull your hand like you're pulling something out of the ground. You pull your hand over your shoulder. Pull your elbow back to open that space. And then exhale, push your hand back down into the ground. This is working the scapula, the back body, the front body. And then pull up, straighten. Open, drop your hand behind you and lean back. Good. Arm comes down. You bring your legs back through center. Scoot yourself to the center of the chair and move your feet apart so that your toes are pointing out, your heels are pointing in, hands on your knees. Take a breath. And then as you exhale, you're going to come forward with a flat back. Your chest comes down about halfway. And then take your one shoulder over and across towards your opposite knee. Inhale, come back to center, rise up to center. And in center, you're going to round your back for a nice back stretch again. Good. And then inhale to sit up. Exhale to come about halfway forward with a flat back. Once you get to that point, take your other shoulder over, down, and across. Inhale to come back up. Exhale to round your back. Nice. Inhale to sit up. Bring your hands to the seat of the chair and then let one knee come down towards the opposite knee. So you just did this with the upper body. Now you're doing it with the lower body. Bring your knee back and let your other knee drop it down. Good. Bring your knee back. Now this time as your up first knee goes down, your arm on that side goes out and sweeps all the way across. So as you bring your arm back, your knee is going to go with it. So the arm and knee go together. So you open and then you close. You open and you pause. Other side, other knee drops down, other arm stretches out. You push across. So you can feel that deep twist in your waist. You can notice what's going on in your arm and your shoulders. And then the knee and the arm are going to travel open. The knee and the arm travel back across. Good. So you're incorporating the upper body with the lower body. You bring your arm back. You pause. Move your feet back together. And then straighten your legs out in front of you. So you, you want to flex your feet so that your heels are digging into the floor beneath you. Arms come out, arms come forward, and then reach forward and drop your arms down wherever they naturally will fall. Try not to slide off your chair. Relax your head, just relax your face. Take one arm away from your leg and reach up. Bring it back. Take your other arm away from your other leg and reach up. So you're just exploring the space that you live in. And then bring it back. Both arms are going to come out. Bend your knees back. Bring your arms forward. Turn your palms forward. Pull your hands back towards your shoulders. And then send your arms up over your head. And then turn your palms back towards the wall behind you. But let your elbows be soft. Let your shoulders drop down. And then pull your elbows down behind your rib cage. Pause. Squeeze your elbows towards your spine. Extend both arms out to the side. And then take both arms forward. And as your hands come close to each other, interlace your fingers.
turn your palms forward and rise up, making a window of your arms for your head to fit through. Elbows relaxed and soft, shoulders are down, jaw is unclenching. And then lean to one side. Notice how your opposite hip wants to leave the chair. Try to press it down towards the chair. And then back to center and over to the other side. Good. And then back to center, arms come forward. Pull your hands in towards your belly, up past your chest, up past the crown of your head. Take a nice full breath to stretch up. Release your fingers. As you exhale, you're gonna come all the way forward again, just dropping your chest down. So the end of our session is just like the beginning of our session, where the end of one thing is the beginning of something brand new. Take one arm away from your legs to reach up. Bring it down. Other arm leaves your leg to reach up. Bring it down. Bring your hands back up to your knees. Push into your knees. Pull your shoulders up around your ears. Squeeze and hold. And then exhale, gently round your back. Pull your chin in towards your chest. Inhale to sit up, pull your shoulders back, bring your chest forward. And one more time. Inhale to come up. Exhale to round your back. Nice. Inhale to sit up and let your shoulders drop down. And then take a moment to just feel where you've been. Notice the sensations of your body where you have bumped into any resistance, any tension, any stress. And just notice as a witness. And notice what else is happening right now as you feel a little more open space through your whole body. Notice your breath maybe has changed. So take in a nice full breath through your nose. Hold on to it. And then exhale, let it all go. With your arms just resting, your chin dropping down towards your chest. Finding peace in this moment. Finding peace in this world that doesn't always seem that peaceful. Finding joy in this world that sometimes feels full of sorrow. Finding quiet in a world that feels so noisy and so busy. The peace, the joy, the quiet. That is where hope lives. And we can never, ever give up hope. And thank you all for joining me today. Namaste.